guys, so today's video is going to be all about the new NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks. So I saw these a while back and I was going to order them online, but they all look really similar online and I wanted to see them in person before I bought them. So I waited till my Ulta got them and I went in the day they got them. So I got six of them. Um, there are a lot that look really, really similar. So I didn't want to buy the whole line because a lot of the lighter colors do look exactly the same. But I think I got a good variety with these ones. I got some reddish, some brown, and some obviously some nudes. So let's just hop right in. So the one I'm wearing on my lips right now is Lace Detail. And what I will say about the lighter colors is I have to put two thin layers. But this product is really moussey and thin, so it's very buildable. It's not like a big deal to have to put another layer on. I find that it dries really quickly, or at least for me, they dry pretty quickly. I swatched them all on my hand last night and they were on all night and morning. I showered, went to the gym. I just now kind of scrubbed it off and you can still see some of the darker colors on my hands. So I'm really impressed with these. Um, basically, the lingerie part comes from that they're all kind of like nudie tones. So I think that's pretty cute. I think the packaging looks a lot like the Kylie lip kits and some of the colors do too. So I kind of wanted to test them out and see if they would be kind of like a dupe, even though I don't have any of the Kylie lip kits because no, like I said in my last video, I'm not like a huge liquid lipstick person, but I do love these tones of lip of liquid lipsticks. Um, I think there's some things about a liquid lipstick that you just can't get with a regular lipstick and these tones kind of are that for me. Like nude lipsticks don't bring the same thing that nude liquid lipsticks do for my for me personally. So let's get into the colors. First one, let's see, the lightest one I got is Lace Detail. That's one I have on my lips right now. Um, as far as swatching goes, I'll show you lip swatches, but I'm also going to swatch it on my hand from far away so you can kind of see. Um, this one is just a really pretty nudie pink. As you can see on my lips, as a, like right now, it's pretty nude, but it's not so light of a nude that it just washes your lips out. It definitely has some color, but it is really, really pretty. I definitely love lace detail. The next one I got is push up and this one's really pretty too it's very similar to lace detail it's just maybe like a sh shade and a half darker as you can see on my hand and i'm also going to show you the lip swatch obviously so i love that one as well it is a little bit darker so if you think that uh lace detail is too light for you then push up will be perfect next one is bedtime flirt and this one to me is just like a little bit pinkier than push up but it is all in the same family i mean all of these lipsticks are kind of the same family but i really love that one i think it's my second favorite out of all of them all of the lighter colors at least i mean obviously i only picked up the ones i thought i would really wear but I really do like that one. The next one is Embellishment. And this one's really cool because it's kind of a, like a purpley nude. So it's got like that dusty, mauve purpley color, but it's also kind of nude at the same time. I really, really like this one because it's extremely unique. It's almost like that grayish trend, you know, like the gray beige kind of like, you know, all the colors that are pretty much trending right now, like Lime Crimes, Cashmere and all that kind of stuff but it's darker and more purple which is kind of cool because I don't own anything like that I've never actually seen anything like that so I really love that color if you're gonna pick one up and you want something that's gonna stand out in your collection I would definitely go with that one which again is embellishment just because I have honestly never seen anything like that all right the next one is exotic and this is a more like pinky ready one so let me swatch it for you. This one did, like was very difficult to get off my hand. Now this one is kind of, I don't know, it's a color that like, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of got a little bit of brown, a little bit of red, a little bit of pink, um, and a little bit of nude all thrown into one. It's really, really pretty though. I love this one a lot, obviously. That's why I picked it up. But it is just like, a, these two right here, embellishment and 
exotic are colors that I've never seen before. So like the lighter nudes are really beautiful and awesome colors, but you know, obviously they've been done before, seen them before, whatever. But these two, I've never seen anything like them. So that was really exciting for me when I was looking. And then the last one I got is Teddy. And this is a brown. And I mentioned in another video that I made that like I really like the brown lip trend, but I, it's hard for me to really get into it because, and that one's right here, because I don't know, like brown lips just is a very weird, but I saw True Brown by Kylie Cosmetics and it just looks so pretty on everyone. So I thought that this would be a good way to try out a brown. These are only, let me see my receipt real quick. These are $6.99 each. So, it's really cool because they're only $7. You can probably get them buy one, get one half off. They're not right now. I don't think they are at Ulta, but they always have the buy one, get one half off for NYX. So if you wait for that, definitely is a great price. And these are big liquid lipsticks too. They're not like, I kind of pictured them for some reason being smaller than a normal liquid lipstick. So the packaging is really cute. The colors are really great. I'd say the top three are very unique. And then the bottom three are your basic nudes, which you also need in your collection. So there you go. There's that. Um, as far as wearability, I feel like they wear really well. Like I said, they dr it dries really fast for me. They are kind of drying. They're not super drying. Like when I first put it on, it's not like my lips feel like they're crinkling to death. But I mean, any liquid lipstick is going to be more drying than a regular lipstick. It's just the way liquid lipsticks are. It's just what they do. Um, it's not, tr it's not transferable to me, like on my lips at least, they don't transfer very easily. Once they set and dry, they're set and dry. So I love the formula of them. Like I said, they're kind of moussey and thin, so it's not going to be like that really thick, harsh, like gloopy kind of, it's more of a moussey. So you can build it up. Like I said, um, some of the colors you might need to do two thin layers. I would recommend doing two thin layers rather than trying to just cake on one really thick layer. If you just do one thin layer, it'll dry in a minute or two and then do another layer and it's good to go. I find that these are really easy to touch up through the day too. You just kind of like, if it gets in the inner part of your mouth when you're eating kind of flakes off, you can just apply a little bit more and it's perfectly fine. So overall, I'm really loving these and I'm not a liquid lipstick person so for me to say that is kind of like like I actually really do enjoy the product you know so I would recommend these I give them a thumbs up if you guys want to try them out I think price point packaging color selection um everything is on point I really really love the whole lingerie um concept I think it's really cool I've never seen a company do like a nude line like this that has you know red kind of ready nudes, purpley nudes, brownie nudes, your typical pale nude. It's kind of like everything you could want in a nude. You're going to find a shade that works for your skin tone. Basically, whether you have dark skin, light skin, medium skin, there's going to be a nude that fits you or a red that fits you or a brown that fits you something that will work with your skin tone. So I absolutely love that about these products. Oh, oh, another thing I absolutely love is the wand. I'll show you a close up too, but it's really, really long and flexible and the tip is pretty thin. So it's really easy to just apply um, a crisp line around the outside of your lips. It's not like your typical flat one that can kind of gunk up product on the edge. It's got that uh, flexible kind of longer skinning your tip on the end. So I really, really enjoy the applicator of these as well. So I was hoping that I would like them and I do. So if you guys are thinking about picking these up, I would say go ahead and give it a go. Let me know in the down bar below which colors are your favorites. If I have them or if I don't have them, I might pick up more if you guys say that there's colors that I should definitely check out. So yeah, thanks guys, bye. Feel like I am a satin girl now. So that is my little collection. I know that everyone's kind of staring away from MAC lipsticks now and getting more 